So question three, funding cuts to education, including the state government's intention to cut the education maintenance allowance, will make it harder for students to fund their education. What will the incoming government do to preserve much needed subsidies for the most financially disadvantaged in our community? I'll start by saying that it's my firm belief that education is a right, not a privilege, and Labor will ensure that every child, no matter their background, will have access to a quality education. We want to make Victoria the education state. In the last four years, the Napthine government has almost halved the annual capital spend for school upgrades, so classrooms are falling apart. It isn't good enough. So in response to this, we've announced $510 million for government school buildings, including a commitment to rebuild Lindale Secondary College um, and further the works taking place at Dandenong High School. Um, we've also committed $120 million for Catholic and independent schools. Labor's education plan will also help um, struggling parents to, co um, to cover the costs of uniforms, breakfasts, camps, sports and excursions. So broken down, that is $15.5 million uh, to help struggling families buy school uniforms. Half a million dollars for eye testing and glasses in 250 of the state's most disadvantaged schools. A $150 million camp sports and excursion fund to cover the increasing cost of school trips and free up the family budget for other things. $13.5 million for food banks so they can establish breakfast clubs at 500 government primary schools and serve 25,000 uh, children across the state. This is to ensure that um, kids get to school well fed and ready to learn. So we'll, all, we'll also upgrade kindergartens um, and for the slightly older kids um, we're, we're tackling a, a fairly unique issue at the moment and that is that Melbourne South East uh, currently has a very high youth unemployment rate sitting at about 17%. So this is a serious problem. While this has been happening, the current Liberal government has gutted funding to TAFE. Labor is committed to giving our young people the skills they need to find secure work and TAFE is an essential part of this. We've committed $320 million to protect TAFE and we've also um, committed to reintroducing tech schools. We tend to be built across the state, including one in Casey.